You got no right to take my joy, I want it back. You got no right to take my joy, I want it back. You took my joy, I want it back. You took my joy, I want it back. I'm gonna go to West Memphis and look for my joy. Go to West Memphis and look for my joy. Maybe you with me help us, I'll find my joy. Maybe you with me help us, I'll find my joy. I'm gonna go to Slidell and look for my joy. Go to Slidell and look for my joy. Maybe you Larry Gross, mountainstage.org, is where you can hear the show if it uh, is not on your public radio station. We're very excited today because our show features Lucinda Williams, one of the most uh, talented singers and songwriters in the USA. She's just made a new record called Blessed. We're talking in February. This is going to be out just in a few days. March 1st. March yeah. the 1st. And it's got a whole bunch of new songs on it and yeah. a lot of uh, great people playing with it. Don was produced Don it. Don was, yeah. How'd that come about? You've been friends well, with Don for a long time? Well, you know, we knew of each other, yeah. but we hadn't, you know, really met and hung out and everything. Yeah. And about a year ago, we got to meet uh, at a Neil Young tribute concert. Um, and He was in the house band, and I was doing a song. And so we just, you know, really hit it off. And um, then when we were talking, Tom and I were talking, Tom, my husband and manager, um, were talking before we went in the studio, and Tom said, you know, what would you think about asking Don if he wants to come in and co-produce the album with us? And I said, yeah, sure. So it was just really one of those opportunities that just presented itself. And we just wanted to, you know, we didn't want to make the same album twice. We wanted right. to bring some new fresh blood in and sure. another set of ears. And it proved to be a really good decision. Can't feel my love anymore. I can't feel my love anymore The mystery and the splendor Don't thrill me like before And I can't feel my love anymore And I don't want to talk to anyone I don't want to talk All the words that used to work have melted in the sun And I don't want to talk to anyone Elvis Costello plays, it's yeah. interesting, you, you see Elvis Costello you usually think, well he's singing harmony, but he's exactly. actually playing guitar, yeah. and it's great guitar. He came in as just as a guitar player, and that was Tom's idea, um, again, and Elvis just happened to be in town finishing his new album with T-Bone Burnett. So Tom emailed Elvis and asked if he'd come play on a couple of songs. And it's kind of a funny story. Elvis emailed Tom back and said, are you sure you sent this email to the right person, <laughs> to the right guy? Because you know, nobody ever asked him to just come play guitar. And I was, even I was surprised when Tom suggested it, you know. But, man, Elvis came in that night, and we already had finished these particular tracks. And... He set up in the control room with about four different guitars, and we played him the song, and he'd never heard him before, just listened, and he said, okay, I'm ready, and, you know, just shred it on guitar. Yeah, it came great. It came out great. I, I mean, know. I, I mean, I've heard and, him before. He's been on the show before. Yeah. He's a great guitar player, but you just don't think of you him as think a of him as that. session guitar player. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But he did. I mean, this yeah, is impressive. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, it was, it was very, very good. I liked what you said in some of the promo material. Uh, you were quoted as... Uh, Talking about how some people say that uh, when you when you get happy you can't write oh, anymore, yeah. you know. And I've heard that yes. before for years, which I think is a bunch of BS. But well, yeah, it's just kind of it's it's actually a really complicated subject because I mean, you know, it's everybody. It's for one thing, happiness is relative anyway. I mean, yes, I'm happy with Tom, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to have bad days, and it also yeah. doesn't mean I'm not going to be affected by other things that are going on in the world that are going to bother me and upset me and maybe other family things or so it's just this idea that you know your art comes is affected by whether you're married in a relationship you know have a nice house or whatever I mean right. I'm an artist and you know it all comes from within me and there's there's all this stuff in there that I can dig from and it's always going to be there 
I yeah, mean, I mean, there's there's so I, much natural conflict within ourselves. Within ourselves. Much less that, having to deal exactly, with someone else. Exactly, yeah. So it was just, I, I really didn't expect it, but when I got together with Tom and everything, I actually really seriously had people ask me, well, now that you're in a relationship hmm. and, you know, commit a relationship, you're engaged, and then when I got married, are you going to be able to still write? <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. Yeah. People actually ask yeah. me that, yeah. and I just—I was so dumbfounded, I couldn't even answer. Yeah. I mean, yeah, as if as if some know. of the great songwriters throughout history haven't been happily married well, people who were, you know, and whatever. That's the thing is, I grew up, you know, my father, Miller Williams, of course, is a poet, and I grew up with poets and novelists and short story writers, and the majority of them were college professors with married with kids running around, and you know. Yeah, that didn't stop them. I mean, no, you it's, know, it's funny. In it's, some ways, the public, in some ways, doesn't want their artist to have a normal life. They maybe want to that's think of what as, it is. I don't know. I, I think that is. And sometimes people just don't want it. They think, well, yeah, you're supposed to be have, crazy yeah. and you know, going out and going Torture. nuts. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, I've been tortured already, and I don't really need. You don't have to continue to be tortured. I mean, once you're tortured and you, you suffer, yeah, well, you know what it you is. You have that in there within you that you can draw from. You weren't born to be abandoned And you weren't born to be forsaken You were born to be loved You were born to be loved You weren't born to be mistreated You weren't born to be misguided You were born to be loved You were born to be loved you wrote a whole lot more songs than, than came on this album, right? Yeah. You gonna use them on somewhere else, or on the, probably on the next album? I've got some extra ones. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, that's one reason I'm so excited about this next album because I feel like this is kind of my way of saying, see, <laughs> you know, I'm married in a, you know, good relationship, but look what I'm writing now, you know. Great. Yeah, folks, yeah. check it out. Lucinda Williams on <laughs> Facebook, on her website. I, I'd show you the cover of the record, but we don't have it yet. It'll be out in a couple oh, of days. And, and we've got it, some on the bus. They, well, whatever. Wow. They'll, they'll be able to see it. They can go to your <laughs> website, see a picture of yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, the main it's thing is, go and see her. She's going to be still traveling, still performing, right? She's she's doing it solo and sometimes with another doing guitar it player. solo. Right now, we're it's just, it. just me. Yeah. Uh, we're Erie, Pennsylvania is the next stop. And then uh, my band's going to meet me in Toronto, and we're playing with Levon Helm two nights in Toronto. Cool. So whether, by, whether she's by herself with the guitar or with the whole band, doesn't make any difference. You know, you know that. <laughs> it's the voice, it's the songs, it's Lucinda Williams. Thanks so much for coming back. Thank you. If we live in a world without tears How it bruises fine A face to lie upon how it scars fine skin to etch themselves into how it broken find the bone how it bullets find the gun and how it scars find a home. Thank you.